Now, as I say, um, the OSI model is is used as a uh, structure for teaching all time, kinds of communications, um, but it is not TCP/IP, and a lot of people think that it is. Uh, you know, they they learn TCP/IP um, through the the OSI model um, and think that they're part and parcel of the same thing. Uh, OSI, as I mentioned, they have a full full suite of protocols. Uh, they may have more protocols than uh, the internet does, but anyways, they they have a full suite of protocols. Um, the, uh, the you know the standards are all there, and you can uh, use OSI perfectly functionally as a network. Um, the but everybody does use TCP/IP. Um, it's easier. It's more widely used. It's uh, you know. So if you want to interconnect with anything, undoubtedly, you know, you're going to have a TCP/IP stack available uh, for the system that you're trying to uh, connect. Um, you know, that's that's what people are going to use. Now, I I mean the the TCP/IP model is um, informed by, at least, uh, structured on uh, the basis of the OSI model to a certain extent. But um, there, there are some differences. For example, um, there is no physical layer in TCP IP. TCP IP does not uh, does not mandate, does not have a protocol for physical uh, signaling. Now, everybody assumes that it does. Um, everybody assumes that it's Ethernet. Um, but, you know, officially, um, there there isn't anything there. So, uh, you know... TCP IP is, is not as complete as uh, the OSI networks. And, and so, you know, there's, there's a bit of a limitation there. If, you know, how do you, how do you send data if you don't have any way to signal? Um, anyway, that's, um, that's as maybe. Um, the, uh, the upper layers, um, session, presentation, and application all uh, in, in TCP IP gets subsumed into the application layer. And, and so there isn't um, the same um, breakdown, distinction, discrimination in uh, uh, TCP IP as there is in, in OSI. Uh, and there's a, a, a little bit of fudging that goes on um, between uh, the data link layer and the network layer. Um, there, there is a slight difference um, between the OSI model and the TCP IP model. Um, and, uh, you know, that for the most part, that's not going to matter to you. The, um, the basic structure is the same. The, um, the layering, um, that happens is, uh, at least very similar. And, and certainly the idea of, uh, demarcating the layers and, and therefore you can replace, um, the layers, uh, with, uh, for example, a, a different data link layer, a different networking layer, a different transport layer, if you want. And of course, at the top, you know, all the applications um, do not care what is happening beneath them. So, you know, this, this structure, this layering, um, this separation of the protocols is the same between uh, OSI and TCP IP. 
And uh, that is why everybody who gets taught TCPIP gets taught TCPIP using the OSI model. The um, Anyways, the TCP IP is, is what gets used, and, and from here on in, pretty much all of our examples, uh, well, some of the, the physical and uh, uh, data link layers, um, uh, we are going to uh, at least mention possibly some, uh, some additional uh, protocols outside the... Um, uh, the TCP IP uh, standard, but uh, an awful lot of what we're going to talk about here uh, from here on in, we're, we're going to be using uh, the TCP IP protocols uh, for that. Um, oh, the, uh, yeah, there's uh, another difference. This um, may not seem important. Um, I talked about the encapsulation and the fact that uh, as you go down the stack, you're, you're adding on headers and trailers, and then as you come back up the stack, uh, those headers and trailers get stripped off. The encapsulation of the data from the higher layers as they get passed down and then uh, transported over the network, the actual network. The um, uh, TCP IP model um, does not implement trailers. Uh, they only have headers. Um, so, uh, you know, the encapsulation may look a little bit unbalanced. I mean, in reality, what does it matter? Um, you are looking at certain portions of the packet and saying, uh, this does not apply beyond this point, and so it can be uh, stripped off. Or uh, this uh, packet needs to have additional data with a very defined structure um, added to it, and, you know, that gets wrapped around it. Um, so, uh, yeah, it may, it may look a bit unbalanced, but uh, there really isn't any, uh, any difference in function as to whether you use headers and trailers or, or just headers. Or just trailers, for that matter, I suppose. Although, you know, headers generally are a bit more useful. Um, so, yeah, um, we, we are going to be looking at the layers, as I said, that's going to structure, uh, the rest of what we're going to look at in telecommunications, and I suppose we should get started with it.